turn on my ugly mode, it'll be up there. Alright, we're going to try to get this going now. There we go. Now, we are live. So, one of the things we've been having going on here today, I don't know, can we see the sun yet? It's hard for me to see. One of the things that we have had going on today is they have been spraying real heavy today. They're trying to hide this thing. Let me go get my other camera so I can see what's going on. See. Nothing to the screen so bright. Uh, let's see here, YouTube. Sorry. Okay, yeah, we can see the sun. All right, sorry. Okay, yeah, we can see the sun. I'm getting the echo. It's been a while, guys, so we're going to have te technical difficulties. So, uh, y'all can see. Let's see here if we can move that around there a little bit. I'm gonna pull that down. You have to see where they've been spraying. I've been doing videos on TikTok on it all morning. They have sprayed the crap out of us. So I'm trying to get this where I can sit on the other camera here and see y'all's chats. We're going to see what we get to see here from Oklahoma. There's another one going right there over there spraying. Good Lord. Hey, Sean, what's going on? Ours is supposed to be here, I think, I think saying 12 something. One. 140. I mean, I don't know. I got some TikTok videos on it over there. And you could just see all the spraying. And I mean, the sun was huge, though. Some people, I mean, people are posting all over about how bad they're spraying to block this out where I guess people don't see it or see something. I don't know what's going on with that. So. 
so is that spot right at the bottom? Can y'all see that? No, that's on my screen. You know, like it looks like a little lens flare there maybe. Hey everybody, uh, this is GWT333 on YouTube. Turn that off. That's gonna be loud. TikTok, uh, this is GWT333 over on YouTube. We are live right now on YouTube. If you want to come over and look, again, that's GWT333 on YouTube. Um, we got the sun up there. Um, I'm going to see if we can catch this eclipse. If y'all want to come on over and watch what's going on over here in Oklahoma and see what we see, we're supposed to have 92%. Um, sun blockage over here so we're just waiting to see when it happens so uh, if y'all want to come on over and look watch with us visit we appreciate it thanks
All right. Let's get back to y'all over here. And you wouldn't believe all the people have been commenting on this, showing all this uh, stuff where they've got all these Kim trails and everything else over on their stuff. TikToks over there has already had um, 3,000 views from this morning.
Still waiting to see if we see anything here. 
you know everything looks real hazy up there we said they've been spraying pretty hard core if I put on the old welding helmet here. Uh, I'm starting to see something. Oh yeah. It's happening. I think it's happening. Oh yeah. Can y'all see it on the camera? Let's see if I can zoom in for y'all. Let's try that. Not being too much. Bring it back down a little bit. Ah. a little bit down there's those streaks everybody's been seeing I can definitely see something moving can't see it on the camera. Camera's not picking it up. I wonder if there's some kind of a filter I could have used. Ouch. Wow. I mean, it literally looks like three quarters, three quarters coverage right now. see through this lens maybe let's see here That ain't gonna work. God damn it.
know we're only supposed to get about 92% I think coverage. go over there in the shade so I can see my screen here yeah um, well but 92 percent is pretty good I'm I'm seeing it here I'm literally seeing it here in my visor on my welding helmet if I get it to go out, it's even better. I don't know why. I need to turn up the sensitivity or something. I'm still getting pretty well blinded. I don't understand why we can't see it on the camera.
but it'd help me if I put the Trying to put my glasses over here, see if we can see anything. Let's see if I can find my other. Oh, you can start seeing the. Starting to see like blue streaks coming off of it. Hey Texas, we're about uh, looking through my welding helmet. Looks like we're about um, three quarters into it. You can't see it on the screen because I, I don't know the filter or something on the screen is not showing it. But through my welding helmet, I can see it. They've been spraying real heavy. Um, that's cool. Still, I'm showing about halfway. Like I said, on this screen here, though, you're starting to see them blue streaks coming off. Wish I could put that lens. See if I can pop this lens out of this um, helmet. There's some way to do it. I want y'all to be able to see what I'm seeing. Hell, that thing is doing. Mm. Yeah, I can't get that moon to. Oh, they're just spraying another one. Look, y'all see that? They're spraying another one in front of it. Assholes.
Yeah, Floyd, I'm, I'm streaming right now, yeah. Um, as you can see, they're spraying shit in front of the sun, but it don't look like that one's going to work out too well because it's, uh, <laughs> it's getting blown right by. Can't, can't beat God. Let's see if I... Still see something there. I don't know. It's the weirdest thing. It looks like three different th things going in front of the. Still showing only about halfway. Uh huh. I don't know. The glare off this thing is pretty bad. No, that's not a rocket. It's an airplane. It, as you can look over here, they got another one spraying back the other way, so just south. Here, I'll raise it up a little bit and show you. They've been spraying us all morning, Texas. That was definitely a plane. I could I could see it. There's another one over there. Wish I had some kind of a dim lens I could put over the damn camera. So y'all can see what was going on better. No, that one over there that I was showing over there, that one there is not, see, that's the difference. That's the difference right, right there. Hold on here. Let's pull this up. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all not stupid. But look at that one. Y'all see that one over there flying? Right up there. See how his is disappearing automatically behind him? That's a contrail. People have been arguing all morning, all morning, trying to tell me over on TikTok, oh, those, those ain't, where'd the sun go? Oh, that's why I got zoomed in. We can try to zoom in better, maybe. All right, y'all see that lens flare right there? Y'all see that lens flare? That, that is the actual eclipse. So you're going to get to watch it in reverse. That's perfect right there. That lens flare right there is the eclipse happening. That's what I'm seeing in my um, helmet, but it's reversed. y'all see that all 
I don't know why we can't see it the other way. Maybe it's just picking up too much light from the sun. I should have checked filters or something. But yeah, that right there to the to the lower right there of the sun, that lens flare, that is the eclipse. That's what I see through my visor when I'm looking directly at the sun. What these guys are doing out here today? There's a lot of activity. Holy shit! Coming off my plate. I've got people coming on my place over here. It looks like some kind of utility work. It's kind of odd. I'll be right back. Let me see what's going on.
<clears throat> All right, I'm back. Well, that thing's showing it's almost there, isn't it? On that little lens flare, it looks like it's swapped around. Yeah, it looks like they come out here to trim trees along the power line on the north side of my property. I need to look at this through. Uh, Where am I? I'm gonna just, just stick that lens back in there. Whatever's there, they're still there, I'll tell you that. I don't know how much, like I said, they're saying 92.6 something percent, almost 93% coverage. And it's supposed to go till about three o'clock. Time is it now? At least y'all can kind of see in that lens flare, that's kind of what I'm seeing through my bill. So oh there they go with another there they go with another freaking chemtrail. Right to the let's see here. I'll pull back. So you don't see that. See? There they go with another one. They definitely. I don't, I don't know why I, well, they would want to block it. I mean, makes no sense. Now we lost our lens flare. Let's see if we can back down a little bit. It's not hard to do this. Uh, I wonder if we get at it at a different angle here. Dad, damn it. Oh, wait a minute. There's that lens flare let's see if we can pull that up a little bit more well, damn it lost the lens flare sorry guys There's the lens layer. Still over to the left of the screen. Look at that. Can y'all see that weird looking colored ring behind it? That's interesting. What the heck is that flickering? Y'all see that flickering? I'm not moving the camera or anything. Yes. What the hell? Is that a bug or something flying in front of that? Did y'all see that flickering?
Hey, Wendy. That was hot as hell. Get my, get my chair out here. I don't know, I, I keep seeing that little flickering going on across the screen. I don't know if y'all saw that. Oh, something's going on. Oh, does it look like it's getting a little dimmer? Let me look up in these glasses here. Oh, yeah. There's only... There's about a third left. It's almost covered. Are these lenses when I look up at them uh, it looks like it's coming up from the bottom and if you look in that lens flare that's about what I'm seeing because you see that lens flare on the left that's what I'm seeing through my welding helmet I am supposed to be getting uh, 92, 93% totality. Do y'all see that? Do y'all see that streak across there from side to side? Now, that is not a um, Kenfield. Now, there's another one. There, they, there is another one flying there. And. That looks like a contrail. Looks like it's disappearing. Yeah, it's disappearing. Um, just right below the sun. Um, that I've been seeing on other people's videos where that line is lining out on either side of the sun. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Is that the Corona? Y'all see that red line around it? But I don't understand why it would still be so bright in the center. Wait, now you're starting to see the outline of what they're saying is the moon. Do y'all see it? Wow. That's crazy. Wish the uh, sky was not 
so hazy. I don't know if y'all can see that, that lens flare down there. You can see that just that dark spot. There's like a dark spot there from that lens flare. It's definitely dimming up. Oh yeah. I can still see it through my my visor here. Got bugs flying in front of the camera or something. Where you at, Ellen? I know we've had them spraying real heavily all day here. I mean, they, it's, it was just terrible. They definitely are not wanting us to get a good look at what's going on. Oklahoma Panhandle. Yeah, I'm over here in Okima. It kind of, it's a weird color out here. It's like, uh, not dark. Dark. I'm going to raise this up and let's see y'all can see this. Look at this. Can y'all see the color it is out here? It's not like dark, dark, but it's not light. Oh, it's getting dimmer and dimmer. Can y'all see that? Let's see if I can turn the camera just a little bit more for you. Ah, doggone it.
but it's a weird, it's, I, I, it's kind of hard to explain. It's like a weird twilight. I don't even know if I'd call it an orange color. It's kind of like uh, there goes a chemtrail. That's playing that one good and far far. Which one? Just bring them all in. This is like the weirdest. Kind of like twilighty feeling, you know? Weird. Yeah, it's weird. Carrie's even say it's mm. dark. Now uh, there's another one that went the other direction. We didn't see that one. All right, Gab. Hey, Tommy, what's going on? About to see if we get sucked up through this portal. I'm ready to go. Uh, yeah, I can still see like a sliver of the sun. It's, it's slowly moving across. Yeah, there's a lot of people freaking out about this thing. Um, I mean, it's always good to play on the caution side when you're dealing with signs from God, you know. <laughs> you don't, you don't, you don't want to, you don't want to uh, piss him off. There comes another one flying from the west to the east but yeah they're definitely spraying the shit out of us we're probably gonna have some bad weather after this little deal y'all see that see that passing in front of it right now these guys are such assholes Y'all can see, y'all can see that lens flare over there where it's passing. There on the left hand side.
Yeah, I hope maybe we do get some kind of energy from this today that changes everybody's hearts. That would be nice, but. Another one flying. What's going on? This is weird. That was weird. Must have had a little bit of communication problem. Well, I'm connected to my Starlink, so we should have good speeds. Russville, Arkansas is full now. Total dark outside now in Ar Arkansas. Well, it's starting to brighten back up here. We just had a little bit of a weird twilight. You can still see in that lens flare though, the, the coverage. I mean, whatever it is, it's moving real slow. I mean, it's starting, it's starting to, uh, starting to see the light on the other side. So whatever it is, it's moving across. I mean, you, you can kind of see, you can kind of see the outline of whatever it is. Like, you know, they're saying it's the moon. If it's moon, then it's the moon. If it's not, it's not. But I can see the outline of whatever that body is moving in front of it right here on the, on the camera on, on my phone and just that dark the dark inner inner circle Yeah, but can y'all see that? Can y'all see when you're looking directly at the at the sun there? Do y'all see that shadow in front of the sun? Can y'all see that? Yeah, I got still got some birds singing out here. And then I got these guys up here cutting the dam. They're clearing out the power line, 15 foot on either side. Yeah, that, that dark circle in, inside the sun there, that's whatever that object is. I mean, I can, I can see it on my screen.
Hey Juniper, what's going on buddy? Can you see that? You can definitely see in that lens flare over there to the left the uh, what's going on. But you can see like a shadow on the sun itself. That's whatever it is eclipsing the sun there. It's the moon, it's the moon. But I'm, I tell you right now, I've been looking up there all day. I have not seen the moon in the sky. And if the sun was coming at the moon, you'd think there would have been some reflection of the sun off the moon until they met up. kind of got that weird light effect going on. Juniper, they've been spraying the shit out of us over here all day. Oh, there's another one back up there in the, in the cloud. To the south. On across there. You can barely see them. That lens flare is really cool. You know, whatever that is, it sure is taking its own sweet time, isn't it? 
See the damn shit they sprayed blowing in. See if we can reposition just a little bit. Oh, that pulls that flare back. Well, there goes the buffering again. Look how bad their, that spray's done. We still got birds chirping here. We know that there's something that they're trying to hide because, I mean, I walked out here this morning and, you know, it was pretty well clear and then I, the, 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 and I showed some, I started catching it on TikTok this morning um, and posting it over there. Um, you could literally see the chemtrails. We had like three going across right here to the south, just plain as day. There was one big one going across from uh, um, north to south, right above the sun as it was coming up through the trees. I got some pictures of it. And they just, they have literally been nonstop with their crap. I mean, this is, this is just crazy, the amount that they're, they're spraying us today. Like I said, because they don't want us to see something, they wouldn't be doing it as bad as they are. Still, it's still there. Yeah, it's about about halfway halfway moved across there now. It looks through my visor. 
welding helmet. got people out there naysayers and everything else going oh that's just that's normal that's that's normal no it's not normal i mean of all days of today why would they make the sky look the way it does right now and they literally you know literally sitting here watching them do it and you got people over there talking shit and everything else i mean y'all can literally see it on the camera I mean, of all days, why would they go through with this today? You know, why would, what are they trying to hide? And that's what it's about. Conspiracy looks like a fact. Exactly right. Not normal at all, Georgia Peach. y'all kind of enjoying the stream here a little bit what I can show y'all what's going on here in Oklahoma Well, some individuals were talking about that, that um, somebody was, I was listening to somebody last night, they were talking about this eclipse doing something to the ionosphere and, you know, weakening the firmament and them firing those rockets up there at it could be in an attempt to, um, get through the firmament is what one guy was talking about um, which I don't know all I know from what I'm seeing is they're definitely trying to cover something up here like the sun and the eclipse. And who knows? Might catch something interesting. I mean, that's just terrible the way they're doing that.
saw one video this morning, a guy was showing, he had a rainbow, which was pretty interesting. Another guy over in uh, Arkansas saying they, they're feeling some kind of moisture coming out of, you know, like drops. Um, drops coming out of the, uh, the sky falling on your skin is kind of burning. That's what he was talking about. Might have to re angle my camera here again. Yeah, I know, right? It's kind of like, almost kind of like a tornado or something like that. But it wasn't the greenish color, you know, when the sky goes green. It was just really, just, uh, I, I can't explain it. It was just like a weird twilight a little bit ago. weird thing is here is I still see that shadow let's see how where we're at let me look through my welding helmet here again now it's almost cleared the sun it's about oh down to a third maybe i wish i really had this lens on that damn camera or had another way of uh another um, like a filter or something but what I don't understand is, is I'm only seeing a third of what that is but I'm still seeing that full shadow on the on the Sun because you see like the that white ring around the Sun right there but there still seems to be a shadow there. Yeah, I've got a welding mask, but um, I can't take the lens out to put over the camera. I tried that while go, and I tried to cover it with the, the, the welding mask, but it just wouldn't work. That's why that's what I'm using uh, Sun Honey to uh, look up and see where the object is that's passing in front. But unfortunately, I don't know why my welding helmet will not darken all the way, so I'm getting a lot of glare. I mean, I could tap on it and get it to darken.
Well, when I do the sunglasses under it, I tried that, and I just got too many, too much, too much glare. Uh, I was trying to find my, I have just like the face shield, you know, where you pull it up there, it's just got the dark lens, but I can't find it. Looked all over the place for it this morning. Walk back out here in the shed and see if I can find it. When you know, I just found the damn thing. Oh, yeah. That works so much better. Let's see if I can get this lens off this and 
get it up over there because you can still see whatever it is. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let me wash it off. Let's go ahead and Oh yeah, let's try this. Y'all see it? Oh man. Good damn it. Sun back in the view. What the hell? Tighten this shit up. See if we can get this thing on there. No, well, I want it working through the camera. That's jacked up because I can look right up through this lens and I can see that clear as day. What the? Maybe if I zoom out. What the hell? All right. Still can't see it. I can. That is weird. That is definitely weird because I can look up and I can see it. This in front of your eyes, Gary. Look, look, put that in front of your eyes. Hold it. Put it down. You see it? 
see it? Yeah. Yeah, Bell, well, Bell was almost full. Yeah. I tried to put this over the lens, but it won't work. If I turn it around for y'all, maybe it might work. Flip it over. No. Nope. Son of a gun. Yeah, can y'all see it? Well, so far, so far we haven't, haven't blown up in Oklahoma, at least. Oh, they're spraying another chemtrail. Oh, I wish I could have found this lens earlier. Went in there with the damn flashlight and it was just hidden behind something. I mean, I, I can still see whatever it is there in about, oh, I don't know, not even a third of the way in front of the sun. Kind of to the north, like it's going to point northeasterly, the northeast corner of the sun. Well,
right. They're still spraying it though. Let's see if we can zoom back in there. There we go. Uh oh. I still think it's odd how you cannot see. I mean, I can see that perfectly through this lens here. And I can see that shadow. But I don't understand why we can't see it on camera. And it's almost it's almost clear to, from my standpoint. It's just like a little, a little bit of it there, probably 90% gone, 80, 80 to 90% gone. You can't see nothing. I mean, I know which way it's going, so it should. You would think if it was the moon be visible once the sun passes it. You know what I'm saying? At least part of it or something, you know. But it's like it's like it's just totally invisible in the sky.
Well, I can see that that object through my welding helmet lens. It's just black. It's it's weird. It's black as black as can be. And that's the whole thing what I'm trying to figure out here is if if it moves past the moon from where I'm at here, I should should be able to see like the moon like you know when you see the moon in the daytime or like an edge the edge of the moon and i understand that the sun is on the other side of it supposedly on the other side of it right now but still as the sun is moving away from it in the sky then you should see the moon i mean it's just a dark object and looking through this lens you know the sky around it is dark as shit just and that thing is the same color as what i, I see it as the sky so i don't know and the camera lens is not picking it up um i don't know just weird as shit. Because literally, you know, everybody's saying, well, the moon's phase is the, you know, the moon's not out, la da da. But still, as the sun is coming towards the moon, you, you know, you would should be able to see part of the sun or the moon as, as it was moving towards it, like even this morning. There was nothing there. I mean, the sun coming up. I don't know. I don't know. Just weird. That's all I gotta say. reality of it is here I mean shit it it does to me it don't make any damn sense at all why why you shouldn't be able to see that that object in the sky makes me want to bring out my damn um, I don't know if it would damage don't know if it would damage my lens or not on the on my infrared scope Like I said, through my welding helmet lens there, boy, I can, I, this one here, well, since I found it, I can definitely 
can't see it. And like I said, it's just black. Well, this sure ain't nothing but the trend. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my infrared. And leastwise, if I get something off that, I'll be able to record it with my with it, and I'll upload that. Try this uh, my hour of my high R scope. See if I can get any thing. Still, ooh, I think good. That screen don't like that.
get them wiped up right there. This step thing's heavy. I tell you one thing, don't want to point this thing directly at the damn sun. It will left to, you know, it's moving around. It left squiggly lines on my screen. Hopefully, I didn't damage my damn $5,000 fucking scope. But what is weird here that um, I can see what the hell I see little glowy things freaking floating around in the sky must be pollen or something that's what that is could be something floating around in the sky bugs that's what it is it's bugs I was like what the hell is the See if I can get right over here. See if I can see. I don't want that on my screen. That's freaky as shit. Let's see if we can change the color to red. change the Oh yeah, now it's to see where it's blocking the sun. But I still don't see 
the thing we'll change it to another color I wish I thought about this earlier it's black hot white hot oh I got it black hot white hot red hot green let's try green hot let's see what we get basically about the same same thing but I'm not seeing I'm not seeing the damn moon I and mean, I'm not seeing nothing there I just see where it's still kind of clipping the edge of the sun there here Shit. 
feel it? Mm. Every time. Wish I had a head that up earlier. I could have hooked that to my computer and uh, we could have got video from that. It seems like it's pretty much over right now. Y'all want me to keep the stream up a little bit longer or? Shit on my screen, it's brighter than hell out here.
of delay. Whatever it was, it's definitely gone now. So, my question is, as the sun moves away from the moon, or the, supposedly the moon, will we start seeing a sliver of the moon? That's the question I want to know. Because as far as I can see right now, I see jack shit up there beside the sun. tried it white hot black hot um, now I wish I had had the uh, that thing going earlier I don't know if I if having that camera pointed at that on my infrared scope would have uh, damaged my scope because I know when I was sitting there moving around I was seeing lines all over it was leaving tracers all over my screen so it might have burnt my screen luckily turning it off and turning it back on kind of reset the whole thing definitely don't want to burn that thing up I'll tell you that Just see it now. I had to turn that thing in. To call them up. Yeah, I need warranty on on that thing. Well, you're not supposed to look directly at the sun with it. <laughs> now that goes. one damn thing it did turn freaking hot out here hot hot
So I'll put together put this lens thing back together for this helmet. Sorry, I couldn't get y'all any better shot of what was going on. Put all this crap up. No need to dwell with him. Chisery. Looks like we're going to cook a rotisserie chicken tonight. Tisserizing.
So we got some people being butt heads on there, huh? Nobody's saying anything's gonna happen. I mean, we're just watching the damn thing. We, you never know. You know, shit's happened over time. The day's not over yet either. So, nothing happens. Glory be to God, you know. Ain't no sense in people getting rude and, and everything else. But if something did happen, we caught it. You know? Wouldn't that be a good thing? I mean, that's the way I see it. I mean... day ain't over and I've been paying attention to my part of my little world I don't know what's going on out there in the rest of the world what they're seeing right now and what's going on but as far as uh, anything that I have have seen today that's not not a conspiracy is them spraying the shit out of us right before this happened the sky is still hazy and I got video proof of that you know my, my question is, is why did they have to do what they did? Aerosol is so bad today. What did they not want us to see? That's my question. And that has nothing to do with a damn conspiracy. That's, that's a literal fact, you know? quite honest with you I'm 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 glad nothing happened hasn't happened yet if something was going to happen am I still alive <laughs> My outlook is of this, if nothing happens today, uh, we might still be in God's blessings or, or, or whatever, you know. The Bible was written a long time ago, and it said he put the sun and the moon and the stars and everything else for signs and wonders, right? Well... A lot of people out there believe that today that um, with the Aleph and the Tav being represented in these last three eclipses that we were being judged. But the way I see it is the standpoint um, that maybe we're being marked the other direction as far as being blessed, you know, being marked with the first and the last letters of the Hebrew alphabet. So that, that there is God putting his mark on the American people, which if that is the case, 
then that's a blessing. I mean, we've been getting screwed over for a long time to, in here in this country, going and fighting in these wars and everything else, and a lot of young men and everything else going fighting these rich man battles and all this stuff that they started. And, I mean, literally, we're being taxed to death right now, uh, giving other countries money and and supporting all these other countries and being ripped off left and right by our own government. I mean, the point is here that, yeah, we got some bullshit going on this, in this country that ain't all good, but there's still good people in this country, you know? reality you know all we can do is pay attention when God's trying to tell us something I mean the way a lot of people talk about that the United States or well I believe the United States won't exist anymore but America I don't think it's going anywhere That's just my my feeling on it, you know.
Well, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff out there, and you know, I I get upset just as much as everybody else does about false information and and everything else being spread around. But technically, I mean, any idea that anybody has could be a possibility. If it can be thought of, more or less, then we have to look at the reality that it could be a possibility. You know? I mean, look at look at the stuff that's going on. I mean, look at our technology and everything else we've got these days. It's, we've got this AI. we got all these things that we can do I mean, there's things out there that they've hidden from us as well that we can do. But people, people are, you know, so mean about a lot of this stuff, you know, rude about it. I mean, here's here's the, here's the other thing. Think about it like this. You got to look at the aspect of this. Okay, if I think okay, they may do that. They could do something. There's you know, it's called game theory. You know, um, where you game every possibility out, and you put it out there into the realm of possibilities. You know, you put it out here in order to expose these possibilities. And by putting it out there, you may be blocking from it actually happening. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's saying it would happen, but it's a possibility that it could happen. I mean, I could think of a thousands of ways if I wanted to take a whole bunch of people out, how I could take a whole bunch of people out. You know? If I wanted to. But we have to go back in history, and a lot of you people out there that t talk all big and everything else, talk shit so much, don't understand the facts that throughout history, okay, throughout history, dictators have killed people, kings have killed people. You think that everything is a joke. And the reality of it is, if you don't stand up for your rights, and we don't fight for freedom, we don't keep freedom alive, and we allow this to turn into a totalitarian system where you've got a dictator and a dictator government, we created this government. This government don't give us our rights. They don't have. They don't have any. They don't have any right to take away our rights. We created this government, not the other way around. People created this government. But when you got people who let the power go to their heads, think about it. And, and everybody's experienced it. You go to the damn DMV, you got somebody down at the DMV, they won't give you a hard time, make things hard for you, get your damn license or an ID or whatever, because they can. You know what I'm saying? People at work, you work with them every day. You get people in there, managers and shit, and just totally take control of your life. They don't give a shit about you. And the reality of it is here, we're get, it's getting worse and worse and worse here. It, 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 it's getting so bad to where you will not even be able to own your own business. You'll work for a corporation and that'll be it. And that's literally when they, when we're looking at that standpoint of the Bible where it says you won't be able to buy, sell, or anything else. It's, it is the corporations that's doing this to us. And that's not a conspiracy. If everybody would just go out there and do a little digging on BlackRock and see literally that they own everything, okay? And, and people, oh, yeah, you can invest in BlackRock, but you don't control BlackRock. You can sit there and tell, yeah, I can go invest in Black BlackRock, but they don't give me no control over shit. 
the reality of it is when you're talking about a company that controls 30 to 40 trillion dollars of global stuff they can decide who fails and who doesn't they control all the 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 uh the, the basically they control all the board of directors on these these corporations that's the reason why you're seeing all this stuff going on about uh, you know all this woke stuff going on out there at these corporations And y'all can sit here and, and talk shit as much as y'all want to and everything else. But you know, that old story is, you know, it, when they came for, when they came for this person, I didn't do anything. When I came for that, when they came for that person, I didn't do anything. And people out there, you know, you might read the Bible because it says in there people who mock, right? Mock. Y'all gone. Y'all will be gone. And I believe that. I mean, I, I don't want this world to be this way. I want everybody to be able to work, get a job, provide for their families and everything else, you know, and people should help one another. But it's kind of hard for us to do that when we're put in the spot we are right now with no money, uh, you know, money's tight, everything's high. I mean, y'all go do that research and look, you know, like the Federal Reserve, for instance, okay? nine board members 12 member banks 12 member banks select those nine board members on the federal reserve i've done research i looked it up and I, you know and figured this stuff out well guess who owns the controlling interest in those banks black rock vanguard state street I have the, if you go look up BlackRock on, up on the SEC and you see the whole list of things that they pretty much control, they even control Vanguard. And then Vanguard owns back, it's like a circle. So technically everything you do, from your phone bill to your vehicle payment, your credit card, your bank account, everything, those people control it. And that's called a monopoly. All right, Georgia Peach, we'll see you later. I gotta get my rotisserie deal. I'm on I'm on rotisserize the chicken. Better get this thing on the grill before Carrot kills me. I shall return.
another thing I want to say too about this deal is the standpoint that let's go back to 9-11 right nobody was watching for anything to happen nobody ever would have thought that something like that could happen here in the United States okay we didn't even have an idea that that was coming and you people out there just mocking and laughing and everything else about everybody watching everything and putting out the possibilities of things that could happen and everything else and what they're seeing and the signs that they're seeing you know and what the research that they've done and everything else just because something didn't happen does not mean it could not have happened maybe they exposed it put it out there and the individual said oh they're on to our plan you know it's no different than today as putting everybody got cameras up you know why why are they trying to cover the sky and everything else right it's so hard but to go back to, like i said to 9 11 nobody had an inkling that that was going to ha happen but you know what that was not a conspiracy theory somebody actually conspired right which means to come up with the plan or planned it and carried it the fuck out now if somebody had to come out before that happened and said hey airplanes are going to hit these these towers you know uh i have evidence i have i see things that, that the possibility that the twin tires could be hit those signs and everything was out there. We found them signs er afterwards, you know, from the Simpsons and all, all kinds of different things that were right put in our face, okay? And nobody saw it. Now, since 9-11, everybody's been kind of paying attention a little bit more and a little bit more. You know, and you don't think our government lies to you and everything else. Well, they lied to everybody that went over there and over through Iraq, over through a president in another country, right? With false claims of weapons of mass destruction. Okay. There were none. They didn't find any. The government lied. To the young men, your your brothers and sisters, your uncles, your fathers, your 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 cousins, whatever, to go over there and put their lives on the line on a lie. So government made up a conspiracy theory, didn't they? That was that was a conspiracy theory. They was out there, but y'all believe them. Hmm. That's the sad part. You actually believed and were willing to send children over there to die for a lie.
Now, another funny thing, we see all these castles and and everything else, you know. Back in the old times, watch these movies and everything else about castles and stuff like that, and they got guards out there watching for the enemy coming. Man, uh, those kings and shit, it must have been awful fucking conspiracy theorists for uh, some fact of business. That they put guards out there and people to watch and stand guard in case they got attacked, you know. I mean, right? Same thing. I mean, look at our own government. They got to have armed security and everything else and everything because they think somebody's out to get them, right? But that's all a conspiracy, you know. I guess that means we don't need homeland security we don't need border patrol anymore we don't we don't need uh the fbi we don't need police anymore because you know it's a conspiracy that people actually might hurt someone you know hmm interesting Hell, we don't even need military anymore. Nobody's going to attack us.
time to get this damn camera out of the sun. Ooh, she hot. Did y'all see the real kiss ring? Got her all seasoned up. Yum, yum. Oh, goodness. Seasoning. So, uh, we got what? What'd you say? So, anyways, where'd he go? We got a new puppies. There's Missy. Her's hiding under the steps. Probably from the puppy. Has he been annoying you, sweet teen? Huh? Has he been annoying you? Yeah. Bandit, come here. Daz, who's Daz? Come here, bandit. Bandit. Where you go, Missy? Where is he? You want to get him? Is he coming? Where's he at? Where'd he go? Oh, he's laying in here. Hey, put him on the floor. Come here. Come on, let's go. Come on, Bandit. Put, put him down here. So everybody see him. Come on. Come on, let's go. Outside. Come on. Come on, Bandit. There he is. That's Bandit. Missy don't know what to think about him because she's been with us what the last couple years. Bandit, you gonna say hi? You say hi. You gonna say hi? You say hi to everybody, huh? Whoa, ain't that a little bit of a scoff going on there, Missy? Hey, Bandit. Yeah, he's ornery. He comes ornery. Ain't you, Bandit? Ain't you? Huh? Huh? What? Oh, you give daddy kisses? Huh? You give daddy kisses? Huh? Where'd you go? Her new little car her dad gave her. Yeah, they came in over there and started cutting them trees. Clear that power line going all the way to the north side of my property here. Yeah, we're giving it give, giving it a shot here. Uh, my sister brought him down over the other day. My nieces and nephew came over and spent the night, and they were trying to give uh, give uh, us uh, well pawn him off on us saying it was Carrie's birthday present. Missy wasn't too enthused the first day so um she she really 
has a nervous stomach. I mean, certain things um, she can't eat or she'll throw up or whatever. And she gets very uh, nervous, has a lot of anxiety. So they kind of been playing around. He's been following her around. They chased each other around a little bit. And we're seeing how things are going to go. Um, this week with him. The only other problem I got with him, he keeps using the bathroom in the house. I mean, he can be outside. He can be outside out here all day. And so as he walks in the house, he's got to piss on the floor. And he's pooped a couple of times. But we're trying to break him of it. I mean, putting him in a carrier at night and sleeping up on, I put him up on the bed right between me and the wall. And he doesn't throw a fit or nothing. But, uh, yeah, biggest thing right now is the potty training. Because the other day when I brought him up in my bed, he peed right in the middle of the bed. Wasn't maybe more than two minutes he was in that bed and he, he went and peed right in the middle of it. So that's going to suck in the truck if we're out on the road because, you know, everybody don't have somewhere for us to wash our bedding on our, on our bed. And if he gets up there and pees on it, then we wind up having to be uncomfortable for a while till we can get to a laundromat or something. Mandy. Hey, boy. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? What are you doing? Huh? You climb up here, huh? Hmm? What are you doing? What are you doing? Look. Up very high. <clears throat> well, you got a stick? What? No, I said, do you have it? I don't have a stick. I said, do you have a stick? Huh? Did you have a stick? Where'd your stick go? Where'd your stick go? Huh? Yeah, he's not two years old. I, I can't remember how old they said he was, about six, six weeks. Maybe ain't six weeks. I don't know how old he is. To ask my sister. Yeah, I mean, he's just a baby. And they called him a... Uh, what the hell's a damn... He's half Yorkie and Chihuahua. So a Chorky is what they're calling him. A Chorky. Hey, don't! Don't tear that up. No. I'll get you. And take your stick over there. But anyways, I'm going to hop off here. I'm going to get dinner cooked for the missus. Um, I had to see everybody. Sorry I couldn't get a better view of what was going on with the sun. I tried. Well, the funny thing is, he's just so, uh, he, 
he's just so quick about it. I mean, he's like he, he, one second and it's just like he kind of spreads his body out a little bit, you know, stretches a little bit, and then he just goes. It's like you have to watch him. I don't know. He's real quick about it. Sneaky. But all right, guys, we'll let y'all go. Uh, thanks for coming on. Like I said, sorry uh, I didn't get a better view of that eclipse from here. Um, but y'all have a good evening.